is not part of our responsibility to meddle in the affairs of the executive or to attempt or to attempt to provide solutions to the executive. But Honorable Speaker, as I said earlier on, there can only be one government for the Republic of Kenya at any one given time. Honorable Speaker, there can only be one government for the Republic of Kenya at any one given time. And therefore, a dysfunctioning government, regardless of who has formed that government, affects every citizen. What we are seeing here is the making of a dysfunctioning government. That's, that is what I have to say first. But second, Honorable Speaker, as, as students of history, we are told that history repeats itself. First, as a farce, and second, as a tragedy. Honorable Speaker, you will recall what happened in this country in the year 1989 or thereabout. When the then Vice President, Dr. Joseph Adjuguna Karanja, was hounded out of office on account of becoming too big, of making fellow leaders to kneel before him. He became a kneel before me Vice President. Honorable Speaker, at one point, he actually purported to be, acting, to be the acting president when President Moy was around still. Honorable Speaker, I don't want to say who was right or wrong. Likewise, I don't want to say who is right or wrong in the, current, in the present instance because I don't belong to Kenya Kwanza. But let me say this. Honorable Speaker, the Kenya Kwanza government has got a duty now to govern. But you also owe Kenyans a duty to give them a functioning government, a functional government. And therefore, anything that can create dysfunction in government must be sorted out as quickly as possible. Honorable Speaker, you know, when a hyena, a hyena wants to eat its children, he starts saying that uh, they smell like a, a goat. Honorable Speaker, I don't know who is the hyena here, who is the goat here. But the spe Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, something is definitely not working. Honorable Speaker, from where we sit as Azimio members, we see a situation where the marriage is not working. And if the marriage is not working, the logical thing to do is to separate. So, marry another wife. <laughs> the wife and the husband are not compatible. Or are no longer compatible. Yes. So, the most, logic, the most logical thing to do is to, 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 to divorce. But start by separating. Yes. So if you want to help, if you want us to help you in the process of separation and divorce, then we are willing to do so. We shall offer our free services. Thank you, Honorable Speaker.